How do? It's Villod Such here, and today, well, right now, I am playing Bounder from Gremlin Graphics, and this was one of my favouritest games. I, don't, I have lots of favouritest games, but this was one of them I remember quite clearly. This was from Gremlin Graphics, 1986, and this was made by the people that were behind a lot of my favourite games. Shumlon Hollingworth, Chris Kerry, Peter Harrop. I'm Marco Duro, uh, I'd be the same Monty, uh, Monty Mall Games, Jack the Nipper, they were behind this. Uh, this is also one of the most frustrating as hell games you'll ever play. It's one of those games that when you've been killed and you've lost all your balls, you'll go back in there straight away. You won't even realise that you've pressed the number 3 key or whatever it is to start the game. You'll be back in instantly. It'll wind you up to, well, to distraction, and you're in instantly, as I was doing when I was playing this. Uh, aim of the game is, you are a tennis ball, you've got to bounce on the tiles on the floor, dodging objects that fly through the sky, and some of the objects will chase you, uh, dodging also uh, rocks, Grates, uh, sharp objects, anything that isn't a tile, question mark, or bonus arrow which will fling you forward a few more steps than normal. And that's all you've got to do. Sounds extremely easy, but it really isn't. Uh, I had this game myself, and I must have worn the, the tape burr of any magnetic strips whatsoever, because... I played it over and over again. It's, it's easy as hell to grasp up, down, left, right, and pause for when you want to scream at the screen. However, it's difficult as hell to play. I'm not, it's a Gremlin Graphics classic. Uh, if you can find it anywhere, you need to pick it up and play it. And it's probably it's not as well known, obviously, as Monty Mole and Jack the Nipper because they were. The classics on the, the spectrum, people know those. Uh, however, as soon as you see the box, or if anybody sees the box, they'll know it straight away. And obviously they've got grey hairs from their youth by playing this game. As I picked it up to play it for this video, the furthest I could get was level 2. As you can see here, I'm over just getting to level 2 and dying. And it puts you in such horrible places as well. So you get to level 2 and it will stick you in a corner and you'll be surrounded like the boulders were, was just then as I died. And you want to smash the screen. It's so infuriating but you just go straight back in. It's got that quality to it. It's a game that they could make now and place it on the PlayStation or the Xbox One as an indie label and people would buy it. 5 99 people would buy this. Uh, or on a mobile platform on your phone no like angry bird well not angry bird what's it called flappy bird this would do so well as a flappy bird game with people just pressing the screen or dragging the thumb gremlin graphics people if you're listening you should do this because this would sell it would sell extremely well I love it and I hate it so much but as I said I died and I was in it instantly. Look at that bird. That bird is following me on the screen. And there's other... See that spinning sausage there? It will chase me up the screen now. See? It's chasing me. The fear that that little sausage that will chase me up the screen is horrible. Now, the way it places you, you can't cross those pebbles on the floor because you die instantly. You're placed in such a horrible little spot. That's all, folks. I'm coming close to the end of the video, but thank you very much for watching. Thank you for watching me pull bits of my hair out of my scalp as I play Bound Up from Gremlin Graphics. 1986, fantastic year for games it would appear. Number 89 is the next one I'll be playing later on. Keep your eyes open, and I'll see you all again soon. Cheerio!